Coming up on a minute, we'll be into the final minute, final 60 seconds of this historic uh, first launch of Soyuz. Big crowd on that, lots of press here, as you can imagine. Witnessing space history. Maybe we should uh, give a rundown on the, of the ignition sequence, which you'll see, which is a little different than Ariane. Yeah, this what sequence to uh, starts approximately 17 seconds before liftoff, and the 20 engines will be ignited first at low thrust level, then intermediate level, and finally full level, enabling the propulsion for The DDO is going to call out the one minute mark now, and we'll be into the final 60 seconds before liftoff. So we are within the last minute before liftoff. You can't hear, you can hear a pin drop here in Jupiter. People are so attentive. They're starting to go out here, the invited guests going out on the terraces on either side here. They're going to watch the launch from outside. Remember what Alex said, at minus 15 seconds, the first controlled ignition at a weak pressure, minus 7 seconds, and a second one, an intermediate pressure, testing the engine at about 50% monitoring them while it's still on the pad, and then at minus three seconds, the order is given for the third and final phase at full throttle. We'll let you watch. There comes the umbilical, right on time. We're ready to go. We'll let you watch the liftoff, and we'll be back with you after Soyuz has cleared the tower. Enjoy it, everybody. Top, début de séquence d'allumage lanceur. Largage de carrière, nous approuvons. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, have it. A page of space history has just been written and you were present at its creation as were we. Alex is almost in tears next to me. Yeah, you were, you were cheering Soyuz on. And gorgeous. Beautiful uh, lighting up the, uh, the, up the morning the sun. The DDO saying everything is fine on board. Soyuz lifting off perfectly from the soil here in her new home in French Guiana, Guyana, beginning her mission number 1777.